fellow friends, professionals, and students. So like, I'm just trying to explore new S4 HANA 2023. I found few differences and this video makes sense for guys who actually learning ECC and future, they might be get surprised. New real time environment, suddenly try to face it. Okay, what is the topic today? So how to change or display customer or vendor master data in SAP S4 HANA 2023. Surprisingly, there is no change when you observe from 1610 or below versions, okay, 1511 come to all the way to, you know, 1909, 2000, 2021, 2022. Now it's in 2023. How to display? The transaction code is same. Uh, if you are uh, from already working on S4 HANA, this video is not meant for it. This is for ECC folks who actually having their, you know, initial introduction to S4 HANA. Okay, so before getting into the BP transaction, this is all these are the different set of courses. Okay, this is the place where wobbling around, okay, with the different ratings, of course, average rated, no problem. Learning people will learn and rating people will rate in a better way if you look at here. So here you can able to learn BP with three concepts, okay? And internal number range with same number, BP as customer, or vendor, internal number range, BP, customer and vendor with different number ranges. And you have a external BP with same number range and different number range also. You will have these kind of different scenarios. I have covered all these scenarios. I'm good enough to create this course to give an introduction to you, okay? So if you look at here, S4 HANA 1909, this is your credit management settings got moved from SD to S4 HANA. This is for, especially for FSEO and SD folks who collectively work for, you know, FSEM, Financial Supply Chain Module, where our settings, SD settings got moved to finance. If you want to learn, you can try. And pricing on S4 HANA screens, so this is one of my top course. You try it if you are an SD consultant. And if you're from other background also, if you're really interested to learn pricing, we're always welcome you, okay? We have these are different courses like in S4 HANA, STOs and all those things, okay? Anyhow, you can try, you can explore it. Let's try to get onto the SAP S4 HANA 2023, okay? So we will have it out. Looks like the similar scheme. So if you look at here, the version is Okay, 2023. Okay, I'm happy if I'm learning something new. So if you go to BP simply, okay, here, if you know, you can able to give your business partner or else your business partner, basically you can able to create it as a person or else it's an organization or group. Example, he's a direct person like HR employee or else some kind of sales person or else individual person, okay, organization, like uh, your distributor, dealer, okay, or else it can be some registered company nowadays, right, wholesalers and retailers and everyone, so that is an organization, and it is a group, it can be group also, so most of the times in real time we'll use as a person or organization, okay, that's what it is meant for, right, in ECC also, okay, sole to party can be like, a person or else organization okay so group means reliance group total reliance group if you are supplying your goods okay so then that can be a group always it has a different meanings altogether when you call it as a group and organization is private limited public limited or anything okay for your customer or vendor okay so if i click here so it can give maximum 100 of hit, hits, right? It's a new system, okay? 
then whatever I created it, those who only will come, this is a fresh system. If I click, you can able to see all these are the different kind of, you know, business partners I have created. Okay. So here is the description about what is the name or little address and all those things, name and address. Address is displaying. Okay. If you able to move little further, okay. Probably you have a name too that is not filled. That's why it's not displaying. Okay. So if you give the number, for example, let's see this. I would like to open this one only. Okay. Control C. If you give the number, it will display this business partner only. Mr. Narayan Private Limited. Okay. So what else you can able to try here? I have done all these experiments few years ago only. And as for Hana, if you wanted to give it a try, you can try. If you click this, whatever two star means, okay, whatever it is there, like how you have in easy search in SC 16 like you know, two followed by you no know, the numbers, what is got consumed that will be shown here. Okay, or else barely if you give previously you have other number, these two also it is coming. This is one way. Okay, if it is the partner is created, person, organization, or group, if I select one, it will give everything. Okay, if I give this one only, it will not come because I haven't created anything. So if you come to the group, I haven't created anything, nothing will come. As of now, I have created only BPSS organizations that only it will appear. So maximum number of feet, there is nothing to explain in ECC or wherever you go, whichever the module. So 100, I would like to control. Maximum, if I keep it blank, it will come. Because we don't have those many hits, that's why it's not coming. That is a different story. Okay. So, so this is one thing. By number, or a search term also you can able to do it. Or external number also you can do it. By name also you can do it. So let's give it a try. So let's copy this guy. Alman call limited. Okay, we have two. That's why it is coming. Two BBs. The similar way you can able to search by address or customer number or supply number. It's all your choices you have. Okay. Some link is there. R by three customer number. If you are linking them, it will come here. All these are the different ways you can able to search it. By the way, how to display this? If I double click here, it will come. It will it will go inside. Okay. Now let's go to the BP again. So it's just default that let's keep it a number. Let's click on search. Okay. This is BP. Don't confuse. Certain times in certain scenarios, your BP is equal to customer and vendor. All are the same. It's customer required. Certain times, your BP is equal to only customer. Vendor is different. That is one scenario. All these controlled by your number ranges, how you are going to assign in BP configuration. That's why you will have a scenarios. Okay. This is how you can able to display here. So if you'd like to create, you can able to use this. Probably I can able to show you in future. Okay. So maybe next video, you can able to see this. All these are the different roles. If I would like to display, this is the role I have created on my own way. Okay. So like, you know, his details you are getting here, right? So I address for you, identification, control, payment transaction, okay? So what is the screen you are watching? One second. So this is screen you are watching, right? So we can able to display here. Okay, this is one way. So address for you, identification, control, payment transactions. Okay, we'll discuss. So probably it is company code rel, then company code, your reconciliation account. So 
So this is the BP, within the BP, you are finding this is the customer number. That's what I'm saying. If you'd like to check the company codes, currently it is got extended for this company code. Okay. So this company code, it is extended for customer and supplier also, data available. Okay. If you would like to see the vendor FI data, let's simply go here. This is how you can able to display it. If you want to change more, Let's go here. If you would like to add some data or edit or delete, you can able to do all manipulation operations. For example, I'm just taking this one as this terms of payment. Let's save this. Okay. So that is got, it is getting inside. So now see this supplier is 2000, but your BP partner is this. Okay, this is how the differentiation you can able to see. Other roles, if you really wanted to get extent, also you can able to do it, vendor and customer. Okay, let's go to the general good data. Let's click on this button. It, it will be getting into the display mode. This is how you can able to perform your change and what do you call all your manipulations whatever you want display if you want to do it certain data in this if you go your favorite tab sales and distribution if you are from sd consultant you can able to see all these data right so like if you wanted to make a change come here simply just do make the shipping conditions at zero two who stops you okay like how you can able to operate in the similar way you can able to operate okay i'm just changing so like this is mandatory field, let's keep it. So if it is mandatory, then it will come like this properly. Like, let me try to give this all mandatory. Okay. Okay, rebates is required for just tick, no issues. Price determination. Because on my demo, or, and how to add this all these are the partners same story again okay only role based operation comes into picture let's save this oh god you don't know bp first time you are checking your s4 on a screen what should you do let's check this any other mandatory fields okay okay Okay. Okay, it's got changed. Now let's go to our actual XD02. What it will happen? This is XD02, right? You're thinking it is going to ECC. It will go to the same as for HANA screen. Certain times they will make it obsolete. That means completely delete the T code. It won't be available in a earlier version. Probably they might found that users get habituated because of old transaction. But so same story. Suppose you are traveling in city bus. In city bus only varieties came in Bangalore and Hyderabad. So you will get AC bus. You got some other kind of, you know, you will have less stops. Same story. In BP also, don't worry. As far as games means, your life is not at power. It's ready. We're ready to educate you. Don't worry. Okay. So, better try what I'm saying. Okay. Better try this course so that, you know, it can be helpful to you. That's what I'm saying. Okay. We're at the right place. So you try the BP, try to get on to the basics. So it will be helpful to you. This is one of the key major change actually. So I explained some scenarios. Okay. Okay. That's all about your create and change. How about I forgot to tell you that this display XD03. It will it will go to the same screen. Now you are smart. Okay. It will go to the display. So in the similar way, MK03, okay, it will go to your supplier. Suppose if I give my vendor and all those things, it will go to the same BP place, okay. So 
xk0 theta. If you give your supplier, it will come. Okay, let's give it a try. So probably, so let's execute it. We have only one vendor. Let's give, let's choose all the tabs, press enter. Again, it will go to same PP. Okay, the referral or else I have chosen, if I choose the purchase organization, it will go to the your vendor BP. This is how it happens. The, you know, uh, like, uh, uh, so don't worry, like, you know, Mag, you will have some additional screens and fields so that you can slowly learn. This is just beginning. If you want it as for HANA, okay? So then, uh, so like hardly you will have 10 to 20% changes, but those are very powerful. The 10, 20%, the remaining is same as it is like how you have MM and ST. That's what I would like to conclude in this session, okay? Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Okay. So switching between between changes, it's very uh, something happening. Okay. Late. It's already too late for sleep. Thank you. Have a great day.